Hi, it's Kim with Sweet Daisy Creations. Happy Wednesday, everybody. I hope everybody's having a wonderful, wonderful day today. I was coming on for just a real quick minute and I wanted to tell you about something I just got involved in. I'm so, so super excited because you know, I am one of those people that, who loves to do crafts. I craft, um, like to do DIYs, I like to do make wreaths, anything that kind of gets my creative juices going. I love doing those types of things. And so, um, when I found out about this company, it's a brand, well, it's not brand spanking new, but it's pretty new. Um, I mean, I just heard about it a couple months ago. It's called Chalk Couture. And it's an exciting process, it's, and it's so simple. That is the thing, it's just so simple. Chalk Couture is actually um, created a chalk paste. And um, I'm gonna show you let me show you this one, it's white. Um, it's paste and it comes in this little jar and with it you use a squeegee. This is like a, oh it's made of like a rubbery plastic. And what you do is you dip your squeegee into your jar, then you have your stuff on here. You're gonna take this that's on like a chalkboard and you're gonna squeeze it across your letters, your chalk paste. And this is like a, it's a stencil, but it's kind of like a silk screen stencil. It's not like a one you could use paint on. Um, and you just scrape that across there. You get the excess and then you go on to do your next letter, these, and you could do each letter a different color. You could do a one color there, one color there. Um, possibilities are endless and you can use this with other, you know, stencils and you can take these um, you can cut these stencils apart so you can use them in multiple different ways. But basically that's what you do and then you take, once um, you get all your chalk on and you make sure you um, remove the excess and put it back in your jar. Um, the jars should last you a while. And then um, you lift up your stencil and you have a beautiful design on your chalkboard, on a regular piece of wood, glass, any non-porous um, type of uh, product. And the nice thing about this chalk, um, once it's uh, the chalk paste, once it's on, it dries pretty quickly and it's not gonna rub off real easy. It's not gonna be like regular chalk. Um, it actually, you could actually rub up against it and it's not gonna get on your clothes um, once it's dried. And then you have to, to change it, you have to wipe it down pretty good to get the chalk off. But it stays on well. And then if you want a design that will last a long time, say you make a really pretty design on wood and you don't want it to rub off, you can spray it with an, um, like a polyurethane type spray over the top of it and that design will be forever. Um, and it can be a product you could sell or um, something you wanna hang in your house and that kind of thing. And one of the reasons I signed up for this is because I, um, when I do my kitchen tour for the uh, fall tour, I've got a little chalkboard in there that I wrote Happy Fall on with chalk and then drew a little pumpkin and of course it looks like crap. But um, that's what made me think how fun it is to do with chalk and how it looks on the chalkboard. I just think it's um, super cool and I'm excited, excited about trying this for the first time. I haven't done it. So what they did is they sent me, um, like I said, they sent me some stencils. So I got this stencil that I just showed you. I got this cute stencil that says sparkle. And of course you could use this for a sign you were doing for like a girl's birthday. You could use this definitely for um, Christmas and probably also maybe even for New Year's Eve. You know, you could have it next to a, a bottle of champagne sparkle, you know, or something. But anyways, that's a, you know, so you can use these and these can be used over and over and over and over again. Uh, these stencil stencils and then they sent me this one which is snowflakes and look at the intricate you know how intricate these designs are on some of these um, if you're someone that has like a Cricut machine or um, a cameo or a silhouette you can imagine that if you were doing this in vinyl how long it would take you to weed out all these little pieces. 
And here, all you do is put the chalk on top, lift up your transfer, and there's your design. It takes literally just seconds to do. And so it just, and, and like, you could, like I said, you can make it permanent too. So it's not like this chalk is just something you're gonna wipe off over you know, time, which that is kind of a fun thing about this because you can get all these stencils and that's one of the things I'm thinking. I saw a chalkboard at Hobby Lobby and it was quite big. And it's one I think I wanna use on this shiplap wall. Um, and then I could change the des de designs throughout the seasons. I just think that would be the funnest thing to have up. And my creative juices would always be going and I think it just would be a whole lot of fun to do. But anyway, so there's um, the snowflakes. Then I got this one that says, uh, enjoy the little things. And then I also got this one that has gather on it. And what else does it say? Give thanks, thankful. It has some leaves on it, some branches. I want to, I'm thinking that is possibly a cotton ball. I'm not quite sure what that little thing is. But um, yeah, and you can just take these, um, cut these apart, and then you can use them in all kinds of different designs. So that's why I'm super excited about it, because I thought it was so cool and such an easy process, and you can make signs for your home, you can make signs to sell, you could go to craft shows, you can have little parties if you're a party person like me and loves being together with, with ladies and stuff or, or other people. Um, it's a whole fun process. And I'm excited as I'll get out to start working with this stuff and play with it. So I already showed you I got um, the white paste and this is called white. Um, I think, where's the little label? White, yeah, white. And then I got this one called Elephant, which is a gray. And this came in my kit. I signed up to be a designer, so um, this is in the kit I received. And then this is called Hot Aquamarine. Isn't that a beautiful blue? So these are the three they gave you in the beginning. Um, and these are really good colors for those of us that are uh, loving the whole farm style. These colors are very, very good for farm style. And then they also sent me this white um, metal. Yeah, it's metal, so it's magnetic as well. Um, but you can put your chalk on here too. But it has a wax um, stick in the back that you have to treat this with wax first so that your stencil or your um, chalk paste will stay on. So you do the wax, you let it go, um, sit for 24 hours, and then you're ready to go. So I'm anxious to try that because you could also put magnets on here and stuff, and that would be cute, you know, any kind of uh, other thing. So this is actually magnetic. And then they sent me this one that I can use to design on and um, try out some of these uh, transfers I got. And then you can buy um, other, like I said, it'll work on wood, it'll work on glass. So you could buy a picture frame and put some kind of design on that. Um, and maybe even have, um, buy a picture frame and maybe put some scrapbook paper behind it and then put whatever design you want on there. That would be really pretty for a decor in your house or even as a gift for someone um, for, the ho for a holiday. It could be any type of event. But anyways, you can put it on glass, any kind of, non-porous um, thing. So wood, glass, um, chalkboards, obviously, um, metal, I guess, if, only if you use that wax on it. And then on the little chalkboards that you can buy at Hobby Lobby and stuff, the small ones, those have to be treated with that wax too so that the um, ch chalk paste will stay on. But anyways, I am super, super excited about this. Um, in my package, I received the small little squeegee for when you work on small designs. Then I got this medium-sized one to work on when you have like a, a larger um, space you're trying to get your chalk on so that it you know doesn't take as much time. But really, these these are not something that's going to take you a long time to put to put together a real pretty design. I am really excited about sitting down and doing my first one. 
So anyways, I just wanted to tell you about it. Um, and if you're interested in this, let me know. I'd be happy to uh, help you get signed up or whatever if you're interested in it. Otherwise, I think I'm going to end this video right now and thank everybody for listening to me. Um, and I'm going to probably do another video where I show you exactly how you do. I can do one a piece and how easy, easy, easy it is. I'll, I'll videotape that for you probably later on today. So I'll talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Love ya. Bye.